Hello everyone, Sam is here from myforexmagicweb.com uh, Making this a small video today is Sunday uh, Supposedly making it on Friday but a uh, little busy So let's get started um, It's about the, the, the trades taken and the reasons basically So uh, and uh, I'm going to give you a possible uh, trade setup for the next week I mean this week starting from this Sunday today Alright so uh, here it is um, uh, the USD CAD, the week started on the 9th, right? So the USD CAD 20 minute short, it was, uh, the entry was uh, the, the week before that, but that's how I, you know, some some of those trades, uh, if you know that, you know, it's going to go long way, then you can hold on to that uh, for a couple of days. Okay, so this is what it is, a Euro Yen 7 minute chart. <coughs> Excuse me. That was the June um, 7th entry on the 9th. Uh, this is uh, you know the month of uh, June and July is gonna be slow and uh, the moves gonna be shallow means the daily range will shrink right and already shrink so daily range are smaller than you're not gonna see big moves most of the time the moves are small and you have to take the profit uh, quickly and run maybe you know 40 50 60 70 pips uh, shots uh, you know <clears throat> even uh, euro uh, aussie and euro pound uh, pair like that usually give us you know 100 150 200 pip trade on a regular basis but not in june july so it's going to be shallow uh, so this is one of those and then the uh, euro aussie on the 11th i don't know why i, I jumped from 7 to 11 but I, that's how it is um so they all mixed uh, i have uh, random things uh on the um, uh, this is a uh, euro Aussie. You're gonna see a lot of euro Aussie trade and I'll show you why at the end euro Aussie 20 minute You know, so big big trade right, but the entry was uh, on the 9th and uh, This is a uh, uh, Cadian you can see here uh, Little short trade here and then uh, there was another euro uh, or oh, euro euro Aussie to the final trade to the upside uh, to touch to uh, 63 uh, 50 56 number here that was uh, our uh, target basically let me see if i have the chart here that you know that was showing that uh like yeah that's it. for example this one um this is uh, the, the the chart that you know first chart i made on euro aussie by the way was like this okay it was back in april right that we're gonna go from here to all the way uh, into this area 60 to 48 or 63.54 so we start to go to the upside and then uh, we went here so i said okay maybe we're gonna drop a little bit and then go up you know and uh, if you drop you drop and if you go up then the next target would be 63.54 in euro oil right so what happened last week we touched 63.64 nice and clean this is the number 63.64 so the before uh, it was uh, 62 48 we hit that number, we drop a little bit, it, that ha happen all the time, big numbers hit, and then you get a little pullback, right? So we got that, and then again, push to the upside, and we are now 60, we touched the 63.54, and it depends on the uh, the fundies that we might continue to the upside. Another chart that I made uh, for my subscriber and I gave it to them, it was like uh, this uh, on the May 30th, <coughs> this is a 33 minute chart on my, uh, uh, these uh, Renko candles. This was a nice uh, girdle from here. The measurement was a girdle pattern, but from here it was nice uh, touch, and then the support was 60, 72, and this area here. So I said we're probably gonna go up from there straight to the upside, and that's what we did. This is how it is, and it bounced exactly from there, and then a little bit of ranging, which call this accumulation, and after that, boom, all the way straight to 63.54, right? So this is what happened in euro uh usd and now we are touching it on the on the 14th and then you can see euro yen on the 14th uh on last friday there was a little uh short here because of euro weakness coming in uh, uh as well as uh, euro usd beautiful short right and um, i think that's about it so not too many trades but yeah you know still uh, pretty good right uh, for the month of june uh, like I said, June, July, uh, very, uh, it's going to be slow and tough to find the uh, right uh, entries and right trades. Okay, it used to be like 14, 15 uh, trades uh, a week, but now uh, they are, you know, maybe five, six, seven, eight trades maximum. <clears throat> so this is how it is. And uh, another thing that I want to show is um, the possible 
set up uh, for this th this week this week uh, the good setup that I'm looking at is this and I'm going to share uh, that with you guys so this is the one if if it is possible if it happens okay it's possible but if it happens right so uh, uh, seeing pound getting a strong uh, very hard to believe right but you never know uh, the reason will come from fundies so if we hold this area if we hold this area then this area is, means uh, 57 54 and i would even say that okay we may drop to 57 uh, 05 right so but 57 05 would be the, the the boundary if you go below that then we're gonna be continue you know continue dropping more and more then i will continue looking short in pound pairs but uh, if we bounce which i'm thinking from here that we may be bouncing this is an inverse head and shoulder kind of pattern and if fundy helps Pound probably gonna get strong, and then pound pairs will be going up. Like pound USD, pound yen. I already have uh, like a bullish setup on that. So, like I said, if pound index, pound as an individual currency, hold above this area, pound pairs may go up. If not, they will continue dropping, and I'll be, you know, taking uh, maybe, maybe not. But if they start going to the upside, then I'll be taking the long uh, trades in pound pairs like pound Aussie, pound yen, pound USD, pound CAD, pound Uzi, right? Whatever I find, uh, find it set up. And then I will show my trades maybe uh, Monday, or not Monday, but maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, when I, if I take them, okay? So this is uh, the good setup for this week. So let's see what happens. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a wonderful trading upcoming week.